Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the watch command, which is a command that I wish I knew sooner. In fact, I have video evidence of <laughs> of me not knowing this command. I'll actually show that right here. This is from a hackathon in 2013, so you know, seven seven years ish ago. Uh, and this is me not knowing how to use the watch command. I will show you guys how to use the watch man in a second, but first let me roll this video. It's for loop time! <laughs> Much like... So, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm pressing up, enter, up, enter over and over to rerun a command. Um, unfortunately, watch automates this for you. So let me show you a quick little example of this. I'll also show you a couple of command line flags that make this a little bit more useful. Uh, so there's two ways to run watch. One is with a command, uh, you know, spelled out as each argument, and it will repeatedly run that command over and over. So you can see that it's running every two seconds, LSAL, and you can see the output here. If I were to do, you know, touch foo, uh, you'll see after two seconds or so, it will show up here. If we do rm foo, uh, I don't have to continually run ls-al, it's just going to do that for me. That's it's kind of the the cool magic of, of watch. Um, whereas before I was doing, you know, <laughs> this sort of thing, <laughs> uh, which is not great. Uh, there's another form of watch which takes uh, a command as a string and it will pass this into an underlying shell. So if you wanted to, you know, uh, use pipes or whatever here. So I'm using tack here, which is reverse cat. So it will put the, it'll flip the lines in the opposite order. So you can see that it's, you know, flipped here. Uh, is it flipped? <laughs> I think so. Why does, oh yeah, yeah, it's flipped. It's totally flipped. <laughs> so you can see total ends up at the bottom instead of at the top. Um, but anyway, you can, you can use the shell here. Uh, a couple of useful options that uh, you might not get, or at least I didn't learn for a, a while. Uh, you can control this time here by using dash N and you can use fractional seconds. So if I want it to run every 0.1 seconds, you can say, oops, every 0.1 seconds, I didn't mean to actually type the S. Uh, you can type 0.1 there and you know, it'll, it'll refresh a lot, a, lot more, uh, a lot more rapidly. So you'll get updates much, much sooner. Um, another useful option here is the dash D option, uh, which will highlight differences in the output. So if we do, uh, you know, touch foo again, you'll see, well, <laughs> Sometimes the difference algorithm is not that great. Let's uh, let's not put it through tack. Maybe it'll be slightly smarter. Touch foo. Oh, I forgot to put dash d, didn't I? Oh no, dash d is there. I just was impatient. Uh, rm foo. Yeah, so you can see that it, it knows the differences a little bit better there. Uh, and it will highlight those on the next iteration. So you can see that, that foo changed there. Um, I find this is often useful if I'm watching something and I want to, you know, not look at it unless something major is changing, and then you'll get a, a much nicer output. Um, there's a bunch of other options. I find that those are kind of the, the only two that I think are the most useful. But anyway, that's the watch command that <laughs> I wish I knew sooner. Um, but anyway, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.